All right, welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. I'm sorry, Google just opened itself. So, welcome uh, to War of the Chosen, this is the Legacy Run. My name is Saiken and we're going to do that blind playthrough on a Nightmare uh, slash Iron Man. Uh, we are in the last, the fourth of all Legacy missions. And it is time to take a peek what awaits us ahead. Jane Kelly, whoever that is, seems to require our help. Moving as ordered. Let's move up and see that we can get ourselves into position. That seems reasonable. This group here, by the way, plays way different than the one that we had before, with so many melee-focused characters. This here is more like an all-in type of uh, company. I like it that all of the groups have a bit of a different focus, just also the way they skill the characters. Kind of ends up to be more of a diversity that way. establishing contact with resistance cells wherever we could but there were still plenty of groups out there operating on their own agendas as we discovered that day the local contingent called themselves children of the earth and it was their esteemed leader jane kelly that advent had set their sights on all right so we're looking at five damage Let me just think out loud. If we were to use a grenade for these guys, we could kill them right away. I would like to hit the tower as well, because that would instantly kill it. But that would leave us with four of these guys. So, unless we want to wait until we only fight the tower, this is probably going to be a resource intense fight. Putting the claymore out. The two advent soldiers are going to die. And the train takes a mild amount of damage. That's pretty much about it. Still got the tower here. Which we could kill with uh, with one grenade. Alternatively, we could... yeah. Can we shut it down for one round? Nice, Is that a thing? Yeah, 100% chance to shut it down, which I think we should do. It just means it's disabled. We can still kill it next turn. Easy peasy. Moving over, killing the snake. There we go. Not having uh, the uh, parry yet. This here could be a kill. It's 50 50. But one that I'm willing to take. There we go. 
Come on, not revealed. Very good. Very good. At the time, I had never heard of Jane or her crew. But local rumors had talked them up to be the nastiest bunch of alien killing maniacs west of the Mississippi. If what they said was true, I was more than happy to risk the rescue if it meant recruiting a few more heavy operators for XCOM. Hit the plane! Uh, I don't want to rush in because I'm not sure if that's going to trigger another pack. Heading out. I have no problem using the Comet Protocol. Yet another tower. Surprise, surprise. So maybe we'll keep going through the houses because the high ground here isn't too bad for us. And it gives us a lot of cover as well. Despite running an active and eager resistance cell, Jane was known for her surprisingly quiet, calculating demeanor. While most of the resistance groups were guided by the charisma of their leaders, these Earthers followed Jane because of her skills, not her words. I'm on the move. Let's go, baby. Next time we're going to move in. Can this thing see us? No, it can't. Next turn we're going to move in. And we're going to throw a grenade over. Besides, I just noticed that there is another pack on the other side. Gosh, that's a beautiful pack as well. Reloading. I'll go quickly. Going hard. Just putting our, our, uh, us out of line of sight. So that the tower doesn't even have any chance of hitting us. set her loose jane was eager to jump back into the fight i almost felt guilty about depriving her team of a gifted leader but if xcom was going to spearhead the resistance we needed the best people we could find leading the way all right now i can tell you what a good person is as well it's one that can destroy a tower with just a grenade lily here we go It was supposed to kill the tower. What the actual fuck? On the move. It's okay. I'll get him next time. Well, normally this shit here is supposed to break. But apparently today is not a normal day. Nope, we're not going to amplify anything. And we're certainly not going to take shots so that the other pack is going to be triggered. Getting a little 
too close here. Advent was risking a lot trying to bring our people in alive for interrogation. That's how I knew they were starting to worry about what we might do with the Avenger. Just think where we might be today if they'd gone ahead and executed everyone. There we go, Redford. Good job. Nice shot, by the way. About everything that walks or crawled. I am at your service. My watch begins. I'm on Overwatch. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Edwin Burger. Too good. They even take it's up a meme in the new maps. I never would have guessed just how valuable Jane would eventually be to our future operations. Aside from the commander, she's way more famous than the rest of us. Hell, even the chosen have heard of her these days. It's interesting how they want to make a storyline out of Jane. No one ever heard of her. All of a sudden she's like super important. I'm watching. I'm covering. I see everything. Yeah, moving up here would automatically trigger becoming visible this year as well. Solid position. Very solid position. So let's see if we can actually overwatch trap them. We're not in a hurry. That's one miss. Come on, at least one of you guys hit. Thank you. Not even close. Yeah, that's what I thought. That wasn't even close. The car burns. That's never a good sign. Just out of curiosity, can we stun it for one round? That would be all the time that we need in order to solve that. Well, 65% chance. It's one way of doing it. The other one is to actually kill it. Still got the combat protocol. Moving back into full cover. Let's kill this guy. So that's one, two, three, four. Probably a better idea to actually kill it. Here we go. We should have done it the other way around because uh, Lily could have dealt the damage first. But she will definitely be able to finish it off. There we go. Yeah, Bradford. There's a 10% chance of insta instantly killing this guy. 
If the guy moves, Bradford will punish him. And we're putting ourselves into full cover. Stasis? <laughs> That's the worst decision that you could have taken, buddy. Shoots into full cover. Misses. Redford moves into cover, kills this guy, and there we go. Easy peasy. Regaining stealth. I'll be there soon. And we're moving back in. So far, so good. I think we cleared two picks, two towers, uh, maybe even three towers. I am trusting you. Okay, and that's the end boss pack. Mutant, who's in there? Mutant, Stun Lancer, Captain. Okay. Fair enough. Ford's moving in as well. Does the guy really call himself Easy? Solomon Ease, aka Easy. Alright. Whatever. As you direct. Okay, what kind of bonus can we get? This orientation for two turns is good. Let's take it. That means no grenades, very bad aim, low movement. to free Jane just in time for her to jump into the fight. Yeah, and that badass Jane will probably not have a gun as well. Yeah, of course. Okay, now all of this here is already triggering, which means we're moving over here. Bradford is moving over here. Lily's also moving over here. And our newcomer takes full cover. Overwatch. Reload Overwatch. Overwatch. Nice. Every damage counts, even the one against the, uh, the mutant. Uh, 
Redford wasn't expected to hit with uh, with his gun. Alright, we're being spotted out, that is unfortunate. Yeah, we don't want to mess with mutants in melee combat, that's usually a pretty bad idea. Ellie's moving over. Yeah, no, 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 no. Redford, no. Gosh, the problem with the Mutant is they do have an instant retaliation. You are attacking them in melee. It's pretty much a lost cause. We're going to overwatch, because the mutant is going to move first. And unfortunately not enough damage. We currently still count as bleeding, so might as well finish that rather fast. Got four rounds to do that. Full Overwatch. Alright. Mutant needs to be target number uno. Very good. Ah, that was our hope of not triggering the Overwatch. Well. Let's trigger the overwatch with someone else. I guess she doesn't technically count as a operative, so if she would be injured we wouldn't lose a thousand points. At least that's what I think. Carrying him. Oh, 
Very realistic, by the way, 150 pounds uh, Lady Shen is carrying this 220 pounds muscle uh, bodybuilder. Which tells us, don't underestimate Lily. So, the mutant handed our asses to us, uh, handed our asses to us. Got ourselves, by the way, a solid 30,000, 35,000. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's an okay-ish score. We were always on the lookout for fresh gear. Especially with the growing number of recruits we had coming in. No, we're not going to get new utility items. Instead, let's upgrade our PCSs. So, we got another Ranger. Okay, this is going to be melee madness. Two Rangers, a Templar. Yeah, that team will have a couple of interesting mechanics. Within a few weeks of scooping up Jane from the slums, we got word from one of her scouts that the aliens were moving something across the territories. Something big. We couldn't always count on these reports to be accurate. But from the description, it sure sounded like a weapon to me. If it was really as big as Jane's guy claimed, it didn't matter where they were hauling it off to. We couldn't risk it. If we were going to lead the resistance, then we had to start acting like it. Let's keep it quiet. That meant taking the fight to them. Once we hit the ground, it was obvious we had made the right choice in coming after this thing. It was some kind of artillery piece, bigger than anything we had ever seen in Advance Arsenal. The aliens weren't expecting an attack, but the area was still crawling with Advent regulars providing security. All right. So that looks like another 50,000 um, points mission. A bit more than 50,000. Um, but at the end, I mean, you you won't be able to realize 60,000 if we're if we're if we're lucky, we might end up with 40,000. So. If the score is above 100k after this run, we have done well. Anyways, this is what's going to happen in the next uh, mission. Thank you so much for watching and looking forward for yet another Legacy Run mission. See you soon. Bye-bye.